So let's do this problem which is a continuous tier tank reactor sizing. It's example two, chapter two, number two. We're going to size it. Now they describe you, okay, there's a reaction. A turns into B. And it's going to be carried out in this continuous tier tank reactor. Remember this reactor is essentially has one inlet, one outlet, and it's being agitated here. It has a conversion and of course all important data volumetric flow, maybe concentration, etc. Uh, species A enters the reactor at a molar flow rate of okay they give you FA0 equals 0.4 moles per second. Now they tell you letter A please using the data either in this table or this table or this figure which you can find gladly in this book which is pretty cool uh, calculate the volume necessary to achieve a 80% conversion in that CSTR. That's letter A. Letter B will be essentially just shade the area in figure 2, number 2. That will give the CSTR a volume necessary to achieve that 80% conversion. So essentially, calculate the volume and shade it in a graph. So I got this conversion and I got the data of a CSTR. The problem here is that they don't give you, if they wouldn't give you a reactor, you will not know which reactor or which model apply. So it's good that they give it to you right now. By definition, I get to my formulary, and if you don't know where I get this, please go to previous videos. I derived this formula. Then the volume of a CSTR or a continuous tier tank reactor is essentially this value here which is the inlet flow times the conversion you're wanting which is 80% and divided by the rate of reaction at that conversion so first thing first I got this data yes I got this data I got x of a yes I got x of a do I have this rate of reaction no I don't have it but I got a graph which has the inverse of that rate of reaction so I can actually find this value and transform it to rate of value if I want or just use it directly whatever you want, whatever it suits for you best do it now the important thing here is shall I use it at the 0% or shall I use it at the 80% or shall I do an average or what should I get well by definition you need to get the one, the rate of reaction at the outlet, so the outlet will be 80%, so please go here and find this value which is 20. So I got this here is equal to 20. I'm going to let it like that because it actually doesn't make that much sense to invert it because then I'm going to invert it once again here, but it's up to you. Uh, you can do it. Whatever you think is less confusing for you, it's okay. So now I substitute the data. I substitute this f of a here, which is this one. I substitute the conversion, which is here, right here. And this one is tricky, guys. I choose to use this as a multiplier, so I multiply times 20. Or you could use this one and divide. So you're going to actually divide a division, which is going to be also 20. Any ways you should get the 20 up in here or 1 divided by 1 which divides 20 which is exactly the same as 20 now I do 0.4 times 0.8 times 20 I get this value here 6.4 cubic meters that's letter A now letter B tells you to shade the volume in the graph and as you can see I told you before about the triangle the, the rectangle concept which is base times height the base here will be conversion and the height will be f of a of 0 divided by r of a. So now let me tell you that this was not included before. Look, this is has no f of a of or initial flow. So take care a lot in that guys. So if I were to give you this equation or this plot, you will not have to multiply by this because you will have actually this value f of a zero and where you can find this this is here so adding it another time will be run 
but this is not the case so just be aware that they might give you either f of a 0 divided by the rate of reaction versus conversion or they can give you 1 divided by minus r of a or the rate of reaction and the conversion so just be sure not to confuse and be sure when do you have it and when you don't have it so once again guys let me tell you that the base is this here and the height is this here so multiplying these two will give you this rectangle shape area and what's that area? that area is the volume of our reactor nice hopefully that does not confuse you about the area and volumes I think it's easy to calculate actually you know that this is my design equation let's go up up here this is volume equals flow times conversion divided by rate of reaction which is exactly the same volume equals flow times conversion divided by uh, rate of reaction so yeah that was a continuous tier tank reactor and how we size or calculate the volume given a condition which is the initial flow rate and the initial or the final conversion See you in the next video for more problems. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring, so if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher and the engineer get the best of each other. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.